So, how was your day? Good. Just good? Yeah. So what are we having for iftar? I'll just get a burger. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? Can we get two of these and a jug of lemonade? No problem. You're still fasting, right? How's your first day of Ramadan? Come on, put down your phone. Talk. Talk to me. What's going on? I don't see the point of fasting anymore. From tomorrow, I won't be fasting. Why? You know this is compulsory for us. Look, I know you've been through a lot. The past year hasn't been easy. I miss mum too. And this is the first Ramadan without her, for the both of us. I know it's not the same without her. You know that Ramadan is the most special month. Fasting in this month has so much rewards. Rewards? What rewards? We couldn't even be with her when she was dying. She was all alone. I couldn't even pray her janaza. Look, the whole world stopped. And everything is going back to normal? Well, the whole world never started for me, Dad. I'm stuck in a worse situation. Listen, my boy. Just because you're stuck in a bad situation doesn't mean you let it out on your ibadah, on your deen. I just... I just don't want to do anything anymore. Sabr, son. Patience. Patience? For how long? That's all you say. Have patience, have patience. Patience this, patience that. How long do I have to just endure? Why is this happening? Give me your phone. What are you doing? I'm writing to your mum on your behalf. What? Trust me, this will help. You are always more open to your mum. Tell her what you feel. That she can't read this. Dear mum, this is the first Ramadan without you. Mum is dead. Dead. I miss your cooking. I miss having iftar with you. I miss your jokes. I miss hanging with you. Here, write to her. What do you want me to write about? Tell her how you feel. Anything. I'm exhausted. I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I feel lost. This is not right. It's not right. It's okay to grieve, son. This is a test. A gut-wrenching one. But a test from Allah nonetheless. The reality is, we all belong to Allah at the end of the day. And this is just inevitable. It's never easy losing a loved one, but you need to be steadfast. Who's going to pray for mum if you don't? We have to pray for her every day so her echra can be peaceful. Don't we? What if I prayed more when she was sick? What if we were more careful? No, 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 no. Don't dwell on the what ifs, my son. Your pain will become unbearable and you become miserable. Her passing wasn't your fault. We, we can't change... We can't change the past, but you know, we can put one foot in front of the other and move forward. And look, I'm going through the same thing right now. I think I'm strong enough. You are my son. You are. We have to be. Look at, look at how fortunate we are. We have another Ramadan to make dua for mum. We have each other. We have Allah. I don't know what to do. Have faith in Allah. The void that her death created will never be filled. I miss your mum too. You know, the last time I spoke with her, she was telling me how great son you have become. She's so very proud of you, that you've been keeping your prayers, you have been fasting, and how well-rounded son you have become. Her last days were so happy that she's leaving a son behind that's going to do good and, and pray for her after she's gone. Mm. 
It's a far time. Let's make dua. Let's begin. You know, it is Ramadan, and Allah never rejects a dua from a fasting person that's breaking his fast. Excuse me? Um, is there a place we can pray with you? Yeah, we're actually just about to start. You're more than welcome to join us. Did you know that every single time someone watches our videos, you could be earning the rewards? To get in on this opportunity, just click on the donation link and share in the Sadaqah Jariah.